Laurel. Laurel. This week, the internet collectively lost its mind over this simple, low-quality audio clip. Laurel. It's like the dress all over again. But why is the sound so confusing? I mean, they're clearly saying Yanny, right? Laurel. Or wait. Laurel. Is it Laurel? Laurel. Hang on. So this was super crazy to me because when I first heard it, listening on my phone speakers, all I could hear was Yanny. Except that Micah told me that he could hear Laurel. Later in the day, I listened to the original recording. It turns out that the clip making waves is actually a recording of the vocabulary.com example audio for the word Laurel. Laurel. When I listened to that original audio, of course I could hear Laurel. But what was strange was that when I went back to listen to the first recording, all I could hear was Laurel. Yanny was totally gone. What gives? Well, basically, it boils down to which sound frequencies you're paying the most attention to. See, we hear sounds because of vibrating airwaves. They bump up against our eardrum and are transmitted to our brains via our specialized auditory systems. You can learn more about that by clicking the link up here. When the air vibrates at different speeds or frequencies, we hear different pitches. So a high pitch sound like this vibrates the air at a high frequency, while a low pitch sound like this vibrates the air at a low frequency. But lots of sounds aren't just single tones. They're a blend of frequencies that are all overlapping. And because of the distortion on the Yanny Laurel recording, there's a lot of overlapping frequencies. But your brain still wants to make sense of the sound, so it latches on to just some of the frequencies. If your brain picks the high frequencies, you hear Yanny. But if it picks the low frequencies, you hear Laurel. Scientists call this kind of sound acoustically ambiguous. It's a pretty low quality recording, so it's got some distortion that makes it hard to interpret. But our brains really like patterns, so when we listen to the sound, we still try to find some meaning in what we're hearing. From a neuroscience perspective, this is a pretty interesting problem, because it's not a question of hearing different sounds. Everyone is listening to the same recording. Instead, it's a matter of what your brain picks out from the noise. If you take the same recording and filter the audio so that you're only hearing hearing the lower frequencies, anything below 4.5 kilohertz, you can probably only really hear Laurel. Laurel. But on the flip side, if you only listen to the higher frequencies, above 4.5 kilohertz, you can probably only hear Yanny. But even that isn't a guarantee, because our brains are really good at filtering things for us. Except that the brain doesn't use a frequency filter. It uses the filter of our experiences. It uses all of the things that we've heard and remembered in the past to help us interpret new sounds entering our ears. So if your name is Laurel, you probably hear the word Laurel a lot. And maybe that means you're more likely to hear your name in the recording. But how is your brain actually doing this? Well, sound is pretty complicated. It enters the ear and then gets relayed to the brain, where it winds up in the primary auditory cortex on the superior temporal gyrus. Much of what we hear depends on how it's processed by the primary and secondary auditory cortices, where the raw sound waves get picked apart and, importantly, get interpreted within their specific context. And this is especially important for understanding speech. The brain uses other information, like how much background noise there is or how often you've heard this sort of sound before, to help you figure out what you're hearing and how you should use that information. So what does all of this mean? Well, even though the official original recording might have said the word Laurel, you're not wrong if you hear the word Yanny. It just depends on what your brain is focused on, because brains are weird and unique and amazing. If you're tired of hearing about Yanny and Laurel, then check out this other weird example of auditory confusion. Here's a recording that says brainstorm. <laughs> Now, here's a recording that says green needle. But what if I told you that both recordings are the exact same? Whatever you expect is what you hear. Don't believe me? Let's watch it again. Choose either word and that's the one you hear. Weird, right? Thanks for watching this episode of Neurotransmissions. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to catch our next video about the weird things your brain does. If you're excited about what we do, consider checking out our Patreon page. We really appreciate all of our patrons for their support. Until our next transmission, I'm Ali Astrocyte. Over and out.